What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I want to touch on what the White House's biggest fear is at this time. And there's actually a few different things. First, we have inflation. That is one of the biggest fears that the White House currently has. The second one is a potential recession. And the third one is Senator Joe Manchin. Now, probably wondering, why is Senator Joe Manchin one of the biggest fears? Well, here's the reason why. And I want to show you a few articles, okay? Here's just one of the articles from today. It says, Manchin, scale down bill should focus on inflation and debt reduction. Now, why is this so important? Number one, what is the, one of the biggest fears that the White House currently faces? It's inflation. If we continue to see runaway inflation, some are expecting we will. Some are saying that the Federal Reserve has to step in and they need to do so now. Some are also saying that the Federal Reserve has done so little and waited so long that they're now playing catch up. Well, Senator Joe Manchin doesn't like that. Now, here's what we do know, okay? One of the things that has been up for discussion for, for months has been another bill, what many are calling the Build Back Better Act. Now, Senator Joe Manchin has made it very clear that the, the Build Back Better Act is pretty much off the table. Look at this. He says, the bill is not for reviving. I'll read you the exact quote. There's not a Build Back Better revival. There's not. He also goes on to say, right here, then you, then you, I'll read you the whole thing, but he pretty much says that legislation that deals with major social changes, they have to go through the, the proper channels, right? They need to build consensus. Then he goes on to say, then if you think you need reconciliation because you got a great piece of legislation, but people are playing politics with it, that's another, we haven't had hearings on any of these things. And so right now, that's what he's saying, that this is not even up for discussion. Okay. So again, why is that so important? It's important because of this. It has to focus, any bill should focus on inflation and debt reduction. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you this. And I'll show you another article in just a second. But I wanted to show you this because the biggest fear that the White House currently faces is inflation. One of the things that the White House has said is the Build Back Better Act would fight inflation. It would also help with deficit reduction because we could go and tax billionaires. Well, what we do know is that Senator Joe Manchin, he is open to certain things. One of the big ones is he is open to a rate hike. He is open to, and whether this goes through a budget reconciliation or not, doesn't matter, but most likely it would have to because increase the corporate tax rate from uh, from 25 or to 25% and also put capital gains at 28%. He also says getting rid of loopholes and making sure everyone pays their fair share. That is the key. All right. Now, the reason I, I bring this up is because we are seeing additional inflation. But the White House has stated that the Build Back Better Act would actually fight inflation. It would actually reduce our national deficit. All these things are big worries. Okay? Big worries. Now, and I've addressed this before, that the majority of Democrats have been saying that we have to pass a bill before July. And really, it's July 4th. Okay. Well, really, according to the most recent reports just out uh, over the past couple of days, we don't have until July 4th. We have until Memorial Day, which is a little bit over one month away. Now, this is the issue. We have about one month. But not only are we trying to figure out how to pass a Build Back Better Act, how to address climate spending and, and fix our climate issues because we have climate issues. Uh, but we also have to provide additional uh, potentially 10 plus uh, billion dollars for additional COVID funding. Uh, there's probably going to be another vote on passing additional aid for Ukraine, right? There's a lot of things that have to go on in one month. So the expectation is we're not going to see a new bill come up before Memorial Day. Now, here's the next article I want to show you. 
okay? And I wanna show you this because this is one of the big fears. And this has been a fear from the White House for quite some time. It is, fears mount inside White House that Senator Manchin won't agree to any deal. And down here, okay, right here, so I wanna show you. White House officials are confronting the real fear that they will fail to reach any deal with Manchin, even one that leaves out most of what Biden had initially hoped to accomplish. Okay, that's according to three senior administration officials. Now, I, t I wanted to bring this up because this isn't new. There's nothing new about this. This is what, what Democrats have been facing since, uh, really since November, especially since December, is there was always that fear that Senator Joe Manchin would push for all these, all these big things, all these great things. But then eventually, he just lets everybody down, says, you know, I just can't go with it. And the expectation right now, and again, there's a lot of different ideas, a lot of different things being thrown out there, but the expectation right now, according to multiple reports, is that Senator Joe Manchin is pushing to see all these things, but he's not gonna want to, he's not gonna want to uh, go much further and really pass anything until inflation comes down, okay? Until the, the, the worries of a recession are over, which I can tell you right now, inflation, it's probably gonna continue to tick up over the next month or two. It will eventually uh, stabilize. It will probably stabilize over the course of two to three months. So let's say it takes two more months of inflation running up. Let's say it goes up to 10%. It stabilizes for the next three months, okay? So what is that, five months? Okay, so we're already in April, or let's just say we're in May, because you only got a handful of days left. So we got May, June, July, August, September, okay? And then it's gonna start coming down. So really we're probably gonna be like seven and a half percent by the end of 2022. Senator Joe Manchin is not gonna wanna push to see a bill get passed if we're still at seven and a half percent inflation. That's not gonna happen. So one of the biggest fears right now for, for many people is what's gonna happen. And that's the thing. And honestly, I, I spend hours and hours every single day doing so much research to try to figure out, you know, for, for you guys as well, but you'll know, figure out how do I trade any of the news? How do I trade any of this stuff? Uh, you know, as an investor, you know, what companies could I invest into? How can I make a little bit of money today, right? I'm always looking at that, but at the same time, I'm doing research for myself, but at the same time, I provide you guys with these updates because right now we don't know what's gonna happen. You, you watch Fox News and they have a, they have a certain agenda. You watch, watch CNN, they have a certain agenda, right? And they, they don't really go on both sides. That's one of the things I try to pride myself on, or uh, pride myself on is I wanna give you both sides of every story, whether it's good or bad, I want you to understand what's happening on both sides so you can make the best decision for yourself, okay? So, as of right now, the White House, they have no idea what's gonna happen. President Biden has no clue what's gonna happen. And we're gonna see how the, how the markets are uh, for the rest of this week, but what I can tell you is, it's going to probably be a bloodbath, okay? So, just be ready, just be prepared, understand that there may not be more uh, assistance coming, we may not have any money or funding available for climate, right? That could be just completely out the door or it could be uh, pretty much on the back burner for a little while. So just understand that's what's happening right now. But as soon as I know more about what's going on and what we could potentially see moving forward, I promise I'll bring you those updates as soon as we get them. Again, just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.